Hey YouTube, Murray Mayhem here. Want to uh, give some shout outs and do an update as to what all's going on. And I'm going to spin you around here, take a look at it. Y'all all know the whiteboard. SulfurCityDesigns.com for all of your off road mower mudding, modding, and stickage needs. Don't forget the stickage. And Southern Off Road Mowers on Facebook, guys. Uh, go to Southern Off Road Mowers and post some junk. Or not. Zach. That's for you. It's time set. Okay, guys. Frank Mayo, thank you for subscribing, sir. 111, Mr. Ewan, thank you. I appreciate it. Tara Moon, thanks for subscribing. Dakota Light, thank you. Tyler Sweeney, thanks for subscribing, man. I really appreciate it. What we're going to do today, it's a little bit warm. I got an hour or so before everybody comes over for the birthday parties. I'm going to try to get this case cracked, and uh, we're going to look at it real quick. Probably not going to do anything other than uh, look at it and kind of dig into it a little bit. My lip is numb. It's a little bit better. Funny thing is, years ago, I used to have full beard and mustache hair down my back. That was in my dope smoking hippie days. Um, and this is something that your dad has tried to tell you. And it's right. The shorter your hair is, the more money you will make if you work for a company. Go figure. But that's all beside the point. We're going to go ahead and get this thing cracked open. I'll get the tools and uh, we will get started on it and see if we can find out what was going on with it and what caused it to break. More to come, guys. I'll get the tripod off. set up too. Remember to check the ones on the bottom as well. And I use this little speed wrench because I can zip them off pretty good with it. Sometimes it's kind of hard to crack them. They've never been taken off, but uh, this one's been off a couple of times. There we go. Ones on the bottom are done. Got a few of them on the top left to do. But y'all know how bolts come out, okay, so guys, now I'll we'll come, guys. I'll try to zoom y'all back out. Let's see what we got. I thought I'd crack. There we go. Just on inspection, that side looks pretty good. Everything's nice. I don't see a lot of rust or anything like that. Of course, it shouldn't be. This is the combination of uh, Lucas and 90 weight oil that I use. Um, this stuff does really good. You can look down in here. <clears throat> I see a little bit of metal, but I'm not terribly worried about that. change gloves well heck I'll just uh take that off oddly enough the weld appears intact I don't know what kind of slipping we were I was seeing but Okay, guys, I'm going to show you this. Well, that's about as damn solid as you can get. Um, and the only other really super duper test of the, my welds is okay, that's solid. That was not broken. Could have sworn I saw this thing slipping. Or maybe it was just my subconscious wanting to put in the 820. Hmm. What do y'all think? Well, all the gears look great. I mean, look, freaking super duper in this guy. 
I am going to uh, drain this oil out and I'm going to clean all these gears and then I'm going to fill it back up I hate to get rid of this because that Lucas is just doing famous you see how it's coating that's what it's made to do that right there is to coat um, because it is just doing wonderfully I look at the pinion input it's in good shape there's nothing sharp sharp there's nothing worn I don't know what it was I could have sworn one side was not turning while it was uh, while it was in motion I don't know like I said I'm hey I'm glad I'm gonna clean this guy up put it back together I may even use this oil again I see a little bit of metal in it but I think that's just regular wear I don't know Lucas quarter Lucas is eleven dollars and a quart of uh, gear oil is nine dollars probably just go back with new stuff and save this and put it on my tools my yard tools and stuff like that go figure guys hmm well at least we got to tear it down and look at it. I'm glad my welds well, did not break. Um, More hey, down. that's good to know. Uh, I'm going to clean it up, get it fixed, put it on the shelf. I've got another project that's coming up. Uh, I mentioned that's why I needed some extra tires. Um, so we're going to get this guy cleaned up, put it back together, uh, and put it up on the shelf for spring uh, when we uh, get ready to do the next little bitty project. Um, that we got coming in. I'm really glad this thing wasn't broken because I was racking my brain trying to figure out what, what was going on because I thought, I know I welded the hell out of it because I, I think I overdid it as far as welding and you know dropping it on the concrete is pretty good for me. Nothing is broken. Could have sworn one side was slipping. I don't know. But we're going to put 820 in it. So I'm going to end it right now. We're getting ready for the birthday parties and everything. <laughs>